After five decades, Roe versus Wade, the legal precedent protecting a woman's right to an abortion, overturned by the Supreme Court. Thanks for joining us at five. I'm Elizabeth Din. I'm Jeff Gianola. The major precedent was challenged because of a legal fight over Mississippi's abortion ban. That law, banning abortion after 15 weeks, took effect back in 2018. But a federal district court blocked it because of Roe. And then today, the conservative dominated court upholding the Mississippi law six to three. Meanwhile, the vote to overturn Roe v. Wade, that is actually five to four, with Chief Justice John Roberts delivering an opinion separate from the conservative majority. Roberts says, quote, the court's decision to overrule Roe and Casey is a serious jolt to the legal system, regardless of how you view those cases. But Roberts wanting to uphold the Mississippi law, but preserve Roe, going on to say a narrower decision rejecting the misguided viability line would be markedly less unsettling and nothing more is needed to decide this case. The effects of this decision already underway in 13 states that have trigger laws, including Idaho. Those laws restrict or outlaw abortion in most cases with Roe overturned. The Guttmacher Institute, which supports abortion rights, identifies 13 more states that could follow suit. So we're bringing you team coverage tonight with 